The land has yielded its harvest. God, our God, has blessed us. Now we are going to sing, we plow the fields and scatter. And um, if you are, we're going to sing, we plow the fields and scatter. And if you feel as if you really do need to join in and um, you know you're not supposed to sing, what you could do is when we get to the chorus, you could do sign language. So I can't do the signs and the microphone at the same time, so I'm going to shout instead. Um, so this is, this is how it goes. If you want to use, this is British Sign Language, approximately. Um, so this is your all. So we're starting with all good gifts. So it's all, good is two thumbs, and a gift is something you pass to somebody like that. So it's all good gifts around us. That's just going around. Are sent, so you're sending something away, are sent. Now heaven is so cool, this is great. From heaven above. Heaven above. <laughs> okay, from heaven above. So you can remember that bit because that's I really like that. Um, so we've got all good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. <laughs> Next bit's really easy. This is thank. So thank you, Lord. Thank the Lord. Is love. Okay, do it one more time before we sing it. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord, thank the Lord for all his love. Brilliant, well done. Good, thank you.
Creator God, we thank you for your promise that while the earth endures, seed time and harvest, summer and winter, day and night shall not fail. We thank you for the reliability of this good earth, for the variety of the seasons, and for all the unity and contrasts of creation. We thank you for this world's agenda, for the labours of humankind, and for permitting us to be partners to the Earth's activity. We thank you that we can nourish, that we can nourish the miracle of life upon the miracle of harvest. And we praise you for the dignity of sharing in the work of your almighty hands. For God our Father, blessed forever. We're going to hear a reading from the prophet Isaiah, from chapter 55. It's subheaded, An Invitation to Abundant Life. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread? and your labour for that which does not satisfy. Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you, because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways, and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord, that he may have mercy on them and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty. But it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress, instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle, and it shall be to the Lord for a memorial, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. So that reading that we've just heard, which is quite a sort of a long and poetic reading of celebration and and hope actually because it's being written at a time when things are not great but where they're looking forward to the greatness of God again and trusting that God will continue to be with them and one of the things which is quite nice about it for a harvest reading obviously it has got all those references to creation but the different ways in which it hints we can come close to God and I think it does so very strongly in terms of using our senses. So, it's, uh, you've got different bits in that reading that talk about looking for God, seeing God, listening out for God, hearing him, tasting God, um, touching God. And I think that in churches we're not particularly good at using all our senses in worship, 
um, perhaps um, we expect to have to listen to somebody, which sometimes is, is a bit dull and would rather be actually doing something. Um, so this morning, this afternoon rather, I would like us to use all our senses and that's one of the reasons you've got a little bag in front of you. So would you like to open up your bag and see what you've been given for harvest? And please take these away with you when you leave. So, you've got some produce because it wouldn't be harvest without something. And thank you for everybody who gave. But what we're going to do is we are going to do some serious looking and listening and maybe even tasting as part of this service. So what I would like you to begin by doing is looking. So you can look at the fruit that you've got in front of you or vegetables. And you'll notice if you've got two of one thing, they're not the same. And look at all the colors that you can see, all the shades. I'd like you to look around you as well and see what else you can see that's alive. You can see grass. You can see trees, you can see people, you might be able to see insects, just see the bird go above. The things that are alive, they are signs of beauty and growth and hope. What can you see that's been made by man? Houses, a school that educates, a church built over many years, electricity, glad we've got that, absolutely, homes, modes of transport. These things show us the creativity, the determination humankind has not just to survive but to thrive and develop and be the best that we can be in everything that's been made as well as everything that grows everything that's used with love God's creative and redeeming presence can shine out and improve our lives and our world now I know you can hear the cars what else can you hear? Birds. You can hear birds. Trees, rain. You can hear the trees. Yeah, you can hear the wind in the trees, can't you? You can hear each other's voices. God's voice, the Bible tells us, is heard in the whispers of creation. If you listen very hard, to nothingness, you can often hear God. What can you feel? The grass under your feet, the wind, absolutely, the air on your face, the chair supporting your body, the fruits of the garden in your hands. All of this God has made, all of it is his gift to you, a sign of his love, a sign of his creative presence with you. What can you smell and taste? You are allowed to eat it if you want. I've tried to make sure there's at least one edible thing. Watch out, don't get a cooking apple in each bag. What's it smell like? Think about where it's grown. Perhaps it was lovingly tended and nurtured. Or perhaps it was just left to nature and popped up by itself like all the apples on our apple tree do. 
as you smell or taste your fruit, think about what it means to be given a gift. All of the harvest is a gift. All of creation is a gift. So Jim's going to come up now and we're going to receive our gifts at the altar. And as we do so, you might want to continue to think about how in all the changes and difficulties of our world, we can focus on and celebrate all that we have that's good and to commit to serving our world with generosity and hope. Amen. We bring water, the source of life and nourishment to the land, the plant and animal worlds, and to ourselves. It is a symbol too of our spiritual life through baptism. From the heavens you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. We bring the topsoil of our fields, a symbol of that which God has created and the sun and rain have nurtured. You have laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the whole, the whole world and all who live in it. We bring the harvest of the cornfields, the oats and the wheat, the rye and the barley. You prepare their corn, for you, for so you provide for the earth. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. We bring the harvest of roots, the sweets, the mangoes, turnips and sugar beet, Food for man and beast. You, O oh Lord, save both man and beast. How excellent is your mercy, O oh God. When you open your hand, they are satisfied with good things. We bring the harvest of seeds for next year's crop, for clover, for hay, and for corn. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and all green things for the servants of mankind. They sow their fields and plant vineyards, which gave them fruitful harvest. He blesses them so that they multiply greatly. He does not let their cattle diminish. We bring the harvest of vegetables, peas, potatoes, beans and hops. He gives food to those that fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. The eyes of all look to you. To give them food in due season. We bring the harvest of apples and pears, and the fruits of bush and hedgerow. The tree bears its fruit, the fig tree and the vine give their full yield. He gives food to all flesh, we bring the harvest of flowers from our gardens and our fields. Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. Consider the lilies of the field. The Lord is wonderful in all his works. We bring a, sh a shepherd's crook to offer the labor of all who have the care of animals upon our farms. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm. And and he he is is those who are with him. We bring the harvest load to offer this with our thanksgiving for all that we have received from God. 
In this loaf of bread we bring the harvest of the land. It is at once the fruit of our labours and the means by which we labour. To God, Creator, Redeemer, Judge, we offer back that which he has given with thanksgiving. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, for everything in heaven and earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. With our thanksgiving, let us ask pardon for all failure in our stewardship and pray God to accept this loaf of daily bread as a sign of our thankfulness and of our desire to dedicate both our work and lives to his obedience. Eternal God, you crown the year with your goodness and you give us the fruits of the earth in their season. Grant that we may use them to your glory, for the relief of those in need, and for our own well-being. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us pray. <laughs> So we offer our prayers to God for the life of the world and for all God's people in their daily life and work. God our Father, the beginning and end of all things, in your providence and care you watch unceasingly over all creation. We offer our prayers that in us and in all your people your will may be done according to your wise and loving purposes. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all through whom we receive sustenance and life, for farmers and agricultural workers, for packers, distributors, and company wards. As you have so ordered our life that we depend upon each other, enable us by your grace to seek the well-being of others before our own. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all engaged in research to safeguard crops against disease and to produce abundant life amongst those who hunger and whose lives are at risk. Prosper the work of their hands and the searching of their minds, that their labour may be for the welfare of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for governments and aid agencies and those areas of the world where there is disaster, drought and starvation. By the grace of your spirit, touch our hearts and the hearts of all who live in comfortable plenty and make us wise stewards of your gifts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our cry. We pray for those who are ill, remembering those in hospital and nursing homes as well as those being cared for at home. We pray for all who are known to us, praying too for all who care for them. Give skill and understanding to all who work for their well-being. We remember those who have died, and especially for those whose anniversaries fall at this time of year. We entrust them to your eternal love in the hope of resurrection to new life. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of grace, as you are ever at work in your creation, so fulfill your wise and loving purpose in us and in all for whom we pray, that with them and in all that you have made, your glory may be revealed and the whole earth give praise to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We're going to hear now our second hymn, Come Ye Thankful People Come. If you'd like to sign the first two lines, it goes like this. Would you like to stand for the dedication, please? So let us make an act of faith and dedication to the purpose and purposes and works of God, saying together, Look upon our lives, O Lord our God, and make them yours, that we may walk in your way, faithfully believing your word and faithfully fulfilling your commandments faithfully worshipping you and faithfully serving our neighbour in the power of your Holy Spirit to the furtherance of your glorious kingdom and in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm on your fields until we meet again. And may God hold you in the palm of his hand. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God.